Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're new to the channel, welcome for the first time. If you're not familiar, um, on this channel primarily we're going to do walkthrough videos of homes and floor plans that we either build uh, or that are for sale, uh, built by Impression Homes in the DFW area. I have been gone for a little bit, but came back and wanted to show you this beautiful home for sale. I am back and in a new community. It's our Live Oak Creek community in White Settlement in Texas. And this beautiful home that we're looking at right now is located at 528 Ratama. And this is our Winchester floor plan. You'll see here we've got this gorgeous eight foot tall front door with glass and iron. Now this home is a few weeks from being completely finished. So there's still some touch up work and cleaning that needs to be done. But I wanted to give you a real um, quick walk through at the new community. So this particular home you'll see right as you come in, we've got this really pretty study, French doors. And if you've seen any of the other videos, you'll um, remember, and if not, then I'll remind you that all of our homes are gonna come with the two inch faux wood blinds included on all the operable windows. This home, again, you've got that beautiful eight foot front door. And I'll show you more in depth a little bit later, uh, but this community has some different included features than the community I was in last in Rainbow Ridge. So we'll go through some of those later. Some of the main things that are included as well will be the blinds, garage door opener, smart home package, all that's gonna be included with all of our homes at the base level. In this home too, you'll get a, a better look as we go through, but we've got these beautiful brown wood look tile floors. And here, I just wanna give you a better look without the sun shining right in it. That door is just so pretty. Eight feet tall, st um, not stone, uh, iron and wood. You've got the beautiful can lights going down the hallway. And then right here in the hall, right past the office you're going to have your first full bathroom and this uh, is going to be the bedroom right next to it but you've got a full stand-up shower with your toilet and sink so this is going to be a great option if you've got either guests visiting if you've got kids and you need a, an older one to stay downstairs or a lot of folks we have too are looking for a spot for mom and dad to come move in with them and so this is a great option because you have another bedroom downstairs with a full bathroom and it's a big walk-in shower. So if um, you're worried or mom and dad are worried about getting in and out of a tub or walking up and downstairs, this could be a great option for you. This home has the beautiful white cabinets and you'll get a much better view of that in the kitchen. And then uh, here is going to be our first bedroom. We've got these beautiful two panel doors throughout the interior of the home as well. And you may have noticed, I'll point it out again when we get into the family room, but uh, this home is going to have the five and a quarter inch baseboards on the floors. So if you see at the bottom, you've got much taller baseboards, gives it a lot more of that custom feel without spending half a million bucks. You've got a really good size walk-in closet here and a spot for your winter and summer clothes up top and below. And then another thing that could make this great for mom and dad if they're moving in with you is you'll see that this closet goes way back deep. Um, so if you have mom and dad moving in with you, if you just want to put storage for um, Christmas, Halloween decorations, any of that kind of stuff, this is going to be a great option so you don't have to go up into the attic. Huge, huge closet. Love this. If you haven't yet, if you wouldn't mind taking a second and hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell, I really appreciate it. it helps the channel grow and I would be indebted to you. Here we've got a hallway closet. As you're coming in, have your guests toss their coats in there, kick your shoes off. And then you're gonna have this large kitchen, dining, and family room area. Humongous kitchen island. Look at those gorgeous cabinets, painted white cabinets with that gray subway tile backsplash. 
You're gonna have the stainless steel appliances and we'll get a closer look at those here shortly. Your master bedroom's tucked back there in the corner. These cabinets are so pretty. And then here on the stairs, you've got the wrought iron spindles, giving it that nice open look from the stairwell. And you've got a huge family room wall. Tons and tons of windows to bring in that natural light, make the space feel lighter and brighter and more inviting. Here we've got the cabinets above where your fridge will go. Beautiful granite countertops. Tons of space for all of your dishes. There's that stainless steel dishwasher. And here you'll see that we've got the full pull-out drawers. You'll have those on metal slides. Nice uh, and extra support. This home you've got the large single basin kitchen sink overlooking that family room area. Little coffee bar to the left. There's your, your dining nook. Just a really large open inviting space. Huge sink for all those dishes. Here's a look at your stainless steel vent hood. And then we've got your electric cooktop with five burners. And that vent right there, that isn't hooked up yet, but that's actually gonna vent to the outside. So when you're cooking and turn that fan on, it won't just recirculate in the house, it's gonna take those smells outside for you. And here's a close up on that beautiful subway tile backsplash. I really like this gray. Uh, I think it goes well with the granite countertops and the white cabinets. It's just a really nice color scheme. And that open spot there is where your microwave is going to be installed. We'll see that actually here in a second in the laundry room in the box. And then over here we're going to have our laundry room, our pantry. Here's your pantry with tons of storage space. Get all the cereal in there. And then here to our left, this is gonna be the laundry room. Now this home um, and all of our homes normally do not come with washer and dryer. The people that originally built this home added it and when they decided not to, the appliances were already put in there. Here's gonna be your smart home panel. That's where all your internet and cable lines are gonna run to. And you've got a little extra storage back here. And there's that microwave in the box for you. Got a space right above the washer and dryer to hang clothes. And then that little open spot right here is a little mudroom area as you come in from the garage so you can kick your shoes off. Two car garage. And this home, since it has three full bathrooms, what's really nice about that is you're gonna get two 50 gallon water heaters. So you should never run out of hot water in here. And then this little switch behind this panel, what's really nice is it's a water shutoff valve. So if you've got a leak in the house or you're going out of town, you can just come out and flip that off real quick, cut off the water to the house so you don't have to run out into the flower beds to turn it off. Here we've got our sprinkler system. And all of the homes in this neighborhood come with the sprinkler system as well. You've got your garage door opener installed. And as part of the smart home package, we'll uh, install a module so you can open and close your garage door from your phone as well. Now we'll head back in and take a look at the family room. And then you can also see here the beautiful wrought iron spindles. And at the bottom of the stairs, we've got a really nice wood starter step. You've got the dining nook right over here next to the kitchen. And here you're gonna see the two inch faux wood blinds that are included with all our homes. And those huge baseboards I was gonna point out to you. These look so pretty, just as a little extra custom touch. And you'll have that all throughout the first floor and the second floor. Now we're gonna head into the backyard. You can see this really gorgeous oversized covered patio. And you've got 
beautiful lawn, full sprinkler system included. And you can see that that patio extends over to that side as well. And you've got your six foot stained fence with metal posts. And then way out there in the background, that is downtown Fort Worth. There will eventually be homes built behind this. And that gives you a little better view. It's a really pretty, pretty lot, pretty view. Big covered patio, plenty of room for barbecuing. Playing around with the kids, having guests over. Tons of room for all kinds of fun activities. Now heading back in, we'll go and take a look at the master bedroom that's tucked in the back corner over here. As you head into the master bedroom area, you've got this really nice art niche right there. You could put up a picture of the family. And then entering here into the master bedroom, you'll see that you've got your ceiling fan. Really, really good sized bedroom. French doors going into the bathroom. Plenty of room for that king size bed, dressers, nightstands. You've got the raised ceilings in here as well. Those French doors just look really pretty. And then here in this master bathroom, you'll see that you've got a huge, huge countertop, tons of space, double vanities with undermount sinks with your separate shower and tub across from it, the beautiful tile background. Nice soaker tub, relax those stressful days away. And then you've got this nice big shower. Here we've got your second office in the home for all your additional paperwork. And then this is one of the things I really, really enjoy about this home. You have a massive, massive closet here in the master bedroom. Plenty of room for his and hers and all of their stuff. Uh, tons of spots to hang your clothes. Plenty of spots if you wanted to add any shelves for shoes. It also comes with a shoe rack right there in the middle. Tons of space for anything you wanted to add. If you want to store your valuables in addition to all of your wonderful shoes and clothes and handbags this closet has space for all of it this is one of my favorite closets if you've seen some of the videos the Cheyenne also has a huge closet and this one is even bigger with more shelf space Heading back out, you'll see that gorgeous frame around the mirror, those beautiful white painted cabinets with the undermount sinks, tons and tons of counter space, enough room for all your toothbrushes, deodorant, hairbrushes, whatever it is you need to put in there to get ready for the day. You also see right here that we've got these rocker switches. These are the thicker switches that you'll see in newer homes, and these are included throughout the house as well. Here's gonna be your view coming out of the master bedroom into the dining, family, kitchen. Again with that beautiful wrought iron spindles. Huge hallway going down to the front door. And now heading upstairs, we'll stop real quick and take a little peek to show you the view from the stairs looking at the family room. So you've got that gorgeous overlook from about halfway up the stairs into that huge kitchen. 
and then we've got a big window here for some extra light coming in to the stairwell and then you'll head up the second half of the stairs here and we'll check it out but upstairs we're gonna have two bedrooms another full bathroom and then we'll also have a game room up here So as we come down this hallway where the bedrooms and bathroom are, this will be our third bedroom of the home, the first bedroom upstairs. Great size bedroom, the large five and a quarter inch baseboards, and all of the bedrooms upstairs are going to have a really good size closet as well. All walk in and you still have the really nice two panel upgraded interior doors throughout the upstairs as well tons of storage space in the closet and then here at the end of the hallway this is going to be the fourth and final bedroom of the home and this one, uh, again, a really great size. And you've got the window facing the front of the home. And this afternoon, while I'm filming this, you can see that you get a lot of really bright, nice light in the home. Tons of natural light coming in the front. And this closet here is really, really nice. You've got a ton of storage space and it's huge. Another really cool thing about this is in this closet, there's a window so you get even more natural light coming into the closet. I just think that's a really nice extra touch. It's really cool here in the closet and aesthetically from the outside, it also looks really pretty. Now we'll head into the third full bathroom in the home. Here you'll see we still have the gorgeous wood look tile flooring with the white painted cabinets, tons of counter space, and in here you'll have a separate door so you can have somebody in here using the restroom or taking a shower and have that door shut so somebody else could be getting ready, brushing their teeth, doing their hair. So it's a really great size bathroom and those doors make it very functional for multiple people to be using it. Got the gorgeous can lights above, huge counter space, huge mirror, really, really good space, especially if you have any kids or guests. And then over here, this door is going to lead into the attic space where you'll actually be changing your air filter. So I wanted to show you that, um, give you a good idea where it is. So right in front of us, the big square box where all the tubes are running into, that's actually where you'll change the air filter and it's very easily accessible through this door and then up top here if you can kind of see on the roof um, where it looked like tin foil that was your radiant barrier decking that's part of the energy efficiency package it helps keep the attic cooler as we come through this opening this is going to be your massive game room this is going to be a really great space, um, whether you need it for a game room, if you wanted to turn it into a media room and put some blackout curtains up. Uh, I've also had some people that have mentioned um, in the future blocking off that space with either a barn door um, or putting some French doors there and turning this into a massive fifth bedroom. So this space, while it is uh, considered a game room for us, this gives you tons of different things you could do and you've got a beautiful view out the front as well but this room is just so big huge ceilings you really have so much you could do with this space um, wonderful game nights turn it into another bedroom really anything that you can imagine Another quick look down the hallway to the bedrooms and bath. And then we will head back downstairs to give you another quick look at the kitchen, dining, and family room. 
And as always, thank you guys for joining me on another video. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for engaging on the posts. Um, and uh, those of you that answered the survey, I really appreciate it. At some point, I would like to do a video showing the breakdown on mortgage for you guys. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And share this with somebody who might enjoy it. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to be here and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Peace.